actually, I was wondering, Maharaj, if you would be able to share how we can get rid of any kind of these distractions that come up or excuses to not be surrendered at any moment. It's a question of realization how much we've understood of what we've heard. So hearing is the first thing. You should hear as much as possible from Shastras and from the lips of the pure devotees. And try to understand it. Try to understand what's being said and put it into practice as much as we can. And that's the best we can do. We, we try our best and Krishna will help us. That, that much sincerity is required. If we don't have any other motivations but to please Krishna. That's our natural constitutional position. So we know that this is what we're supposed to do. And even though we're defective in so many ways, we try our best. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Is there a way to immediately cut out those other motivations when they arise? Well, uh, due to our conditioned state, we're going to make so many mistakes. We're going to fall short all the time. Like Krishna says, Nanyas Chintiyantama Ejana Paripasate Tesham Nichabhyutanam Bhagakshim Bahamiham. To those who Always meditate on the transcendental form of the Lord, engage in devotional service. Krishna says, I carry what they lack and preserve what they have. Krishna's not a mean person or trying to find fault with us. It's said that if a devotee makes one step towards Krishna, Krishna takes ten steps towards him. So from that we can understand how kind and eager he is to be with us and to help us come back to him. So there's nothing to fear. Krishna's not going to give up on us as long as we're sincere and we keep trying. What kind of things can get in the way of our sincerity and our desire to surrender? Nothing can get in the way of sincerity. Only to kyapatiyata. Devotional service cannot be stopped by any material situation. So sincerity, that's, that's the essential feature. If one is sincere, then he can surpass any circumstance. No matter how many reverses take place, or how many mistakes he makes, or whatever allurements are there. If he's sincere, Krishna will help him. Because Krishna helps everyone get whatever they want. If someone wants sense gratification, and Krishna is super soul, reminds him, you wanted it, here's your chance, sense gratification. But if someone really wants devotional service, then Krishna will help him get that. 